Welcome everyone. In this session, we will discuss about uh, dice, which is an important part of non-verbal reasoning. And we see that every year in uh, government exams, especially in the SSC CGL exam, we get one or two questions from this topic of dice. And answering questions from this topic is really very simple. You just need to understand two or three basic points thoroughly. Once you are clear with that, you can answer the questions from this topic in less than five seconds, right? Not more than that. So what is dice? As you all know, it is a three-dimensional figure, right? Again, uh, like a cube or a cuboid, right? It can be in the shape of a cube or a cuboid, right? So this is uh, one representation of a dice, which has got six surfaces, right? Again, six surfaces, 12 edges and uh, eight corners. But here we'll not be worried about those edges and corners, right? Our focus will only be on the six surfaces. So basically a dice is a six surfaced object, right? Or a 3D object, uh, which has got six surfaces. All right. It can be in the shape of a cube or a cuboid. If all length, breadth and height are equal, it looks like a cube. If they are different, then it will be in the form of a cuboid. Now generally on a dice, all the six surfaces are marked with numbers. Numbers from 1 to 6. Right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are marked on the different surfaces there. Sometimes we see questions in the examination where different surfaces are marked with letters of English alphabet. Right? A, B, C, D, E, F. Or sometimes you also see different symbols being used on each of these surfaces. Now let us first understand the different types of dice. One is in terms of shape, you can say it can either be like a cube or a cube ball, but then the way the numbers are put here on the six surfaces of dice, it can be categorized into two types. One is, uh, right, it can be categorized into two types. Right? One is a standard dice, right? One is a standard dice. What is a standard dice? See, understand, in a standard dice, the opposite surfaces will add up to seven, right? We are looking at dice where numbers are marked on all the six surfaces, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers are marked on the six surfaces there. Now, like I said, there are two different types here. One is the standard dice where the opposite surfaces add up to 7, right? So here, opposite faces or opposite surfaces. Opposite faces add to 7, right? Opposite faces add to 7. Like, for example, if you look at this dice, this is not a standard one, right? This is not a standard one. How will a standard dice look like? Uh, let me just give you... Uh, this is more of a cuboid, right? It looks like a cuboid. So here I can say it will have uh, 5, 3 and uh, 1. 5, 3 and 1. Now, like I said, a standard dice will have opposite faces which add to 7. Now here you see that, you know, opposite faces. Uh, 5, the opposite face to 5 will be uh, 2 here, right? 5 plus 2, right? 5 is on the top, so bottom will be 2. So 5 plus 2 is 7. Then the face here on the right hand side is 1. So that on that side will be 6. 1 plus 6 will be 7. What you see in front is 3. So on the back will be 4. 3 plus 4 is 7. So a standardized is the one where opposite faces add to 7. Now if you look at the first one here, it is not a standardized. Why? Because adjacent faces are adding to 7. 5 plus 2, 7, right? So you cannot say that it is a standard die, right? All right, so one is the case where it is a standard die where opposite faces add to seven. Now the other one here is an ordinary dice. Ordinary dice is the one where adjacent faces add to seven. Adjacent faces add to seven. Now, for example, if you look at the first one, right? These are opposite. This is an ordinary die and this is the standard one, right? Now, if you look at this one, adjacent faces, 5 plus 2 is 7. Of course, this pair of adjacent faces is 5 plus 1, 6, but then there will be one pair of adjacent faces which will always add up to 7. So, such a die is called ordinary dice. A standard die should have opposite faces adding to 7. So, here you see 5 on top. So, at the bottom it should be 2, 5 plus 2, 7. 1 is on this side. So, on the other side it should be 6, 1 plus 6 is 7. 3 in front. So, on the back it should be 4, 3 plus 4 is 7. Whereas in this case, you will find that adjacent faces itself add to 7. So standardized is the one where opposite faces add to 7 and an ordinary one is the one where uh, adjacent faces will add to 7. Now an important point that we need to understand uh, uh, before we look at different examples from dice is that each face will have 4 adjacent faces and 1 opposite face. Are you able to follow? If you look at each face of a die, it will have a dice, 4 adjacent faces. For example, 5 here, it has got 4 adjacent faces. What are they? Two on this side, one on this side. Again, behind there, there is a face with some number which is also adjacent to five. And on the left hand side, there is some number which is also adjacent to five. Only one will be opposite to five. 
right? So remember this is a very important point, a very important point. Each face of a dice will have four adjacent faces. It will have four adjacent faces. You take any face, it will have four adjacent faces. And the fifth one will be opposite. So altogether six faces from any uh, particular face if you see, there are four adjacent faces and an opposite face. Alright? So here if you see, five has got four adjacent faces. The adjacent faces in a standard dice should not have two for five. Right? The adjacent faces of five will not have two. Because two should be opposite to five in a standard dice. Alright? So two will be at the bottom. It can have the remaining numbers. So one, three, four and six. But in a ordinary die, the adjacent faces of 5, one of the adjacent faces of 5 will have 2. So here this face has got 2. All right? One of the faces, out of 4, any one can have 2. So this is the classification of dice. Standard dice where adjacent faces, uh, opposite faces add up to 7 and uh, ordinary one where uh, adjacent faces add up to 7. Right? Standard opposite faces add up to 7 and uh, ordinary dice adjacent faces add up to 7. Now let us look at uh, the different types of questions that are asked. Basically it is only uh, one concept here, right? Different uh, 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 different throws of dice are given to us, right? For example, a die is shown from two, three different angles, two or three or four different angles, and we need to find out what will be opposite to a given face or what will be adjacent to a given face, right? So we'll look at uh, different examples from this topic. 